Good morning, folks. Welcome to another chip break. Last week, Jimmy Diresta came out and took uh, our three-day hands-on CNC class. So this chip break is an interview with Jimmy, but there were five things that I really took away from getting the chance to hang out with Jimmy for uh, three days. And he posted a little review on his YouTube channel, which a card to right here. Jimmy's got a pretty phenomenal YouTube channel. I think he'll probably hit a million subscribers pretty soon. But here are the five things that really impressed me about Jimmy. Number one, just do it. Jimmy has this attitude of he just figures out, he just dives in. He doesn't over seem to overanalyze or get, you know, what do they call it? paralysis by analysis. Just do it. Number two, maybe the best one. It's the carpenter, not the tools. Jimmy doesn't have crazy equipment or the best equipment or the newest fanciest, whether it's his, uh, he's got like a shop in New York City as well as a shop upstate or uh, even as you know, he uses GoPros and a little laptop. He does phenomenal work. And that's a segue into his third point or my third takeaway, which is just absolute passion for what you do. Jimmy is more of a maker than a machinist. He does woodworking, he, just, he makes stuff. And the quality of work, go watch some of his videos, whether it was his ax or whether it was a bed or whether it was a sign that he's made, it is phenomenal to the point where you look at a guy in the shop and you're like, you know, you, he, he's a, you know, engine, it's just amazing. Really, really cool stuff. He, he has this attitude, number four, of like absorbing stuff, of learning stuff, of listening, talking to other people, of just that insatiable interest in learning, which I think we probably all share if you're watching my channel, but nevertheless, really cool to see that. And number five is a little bit of a weird one, but selling. He's not a salesman. He doesn't have that salesman feel to him, but he is always selling. And I mean that in the sense of, of being an entrepreneur. And this is the one tip thing that I think you guys need to take away. If you're starting a shop or a, a job shop or a business or a hobby or a launching a product, you're always selling. You're not just selling the product, you're selling the experience experience of, sounds weird, but working with you. People want to be around guys like Jimmy because they have this energy, they're creative, they get stuff done. The work that they put out is phenomenal. And for me, that's how I hope I work and continue to work because it's all about word of mouth. I'm not interested in paying advertisers or, or, or buying my way into things. I like doing work and having that grow organically uh, and grow over time. And, and Jimmy does a really good job. When you see something that he puts out, you think, I want to own that or I want to buy that or I want to commission this guy to do that work. And that's a really good lesson I've always sort of had in life, which is you're always selling. So here's our little interview with Jimmy, folks. Take care. See you soon. Oh, Hi, folks. Hey, what's up? So we run training classes. I got to know Jimmy Diresta. And if you don't know him, you should check out his channel. There's a card right here. Jimmy is uh, not a maker. He's like the maker. Um, and so I'm still learning. So um, we had kind of sort of known who each other were, and then Jimmy ended up getting a Tormach 440, That's and right. I said, you got to come to a class. I was afraid to use it, but now I think the fear has lifted a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so he, he sent me an email. He was like, I sent, I made my first thing with it. It was like a witch knife, and he sent me a link, and I watched the video. I was super excited, and sure enough, there's the Tormach, and there's a card to that video here. And he used the Tormach and did a great job pocketing out, and then the rest of it was done in typical Diresta style. Yeah, um, I did it all by hand, because I was afraid. I sat here. <laughs> so it's been, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Awesome. I got a pile of shit with me. But this is, uh, I used the Tormac for this. I accidentally was successful. That's what I keep jokingly, but honestly saying. And then uh, it came time to do the rest of it. I chickened out because I didn't know how to fix it or anything. So I was talking with John, and John said, come take a class. So if, if you haven't figured it out, it's a uh, knife that he modified, and he has a Leatherman multipurpose tool. That would, or what do you call it? It's a Leatherman. It's, well, it's called the Witchblade. My fans know it as the Witchblade, meaning Witchblade, what I use. But uh, ultimately, this is all oh, good. This is in the process of being designed. So this is the third version of it. Not quite done yet, but now with my new know-how, I'm gonna try and machine up some new versions of this. Sweet. But the funny thing was about you, <laughs> we were talking and I said, I said to myself, I wanna ask him if I can come hang out. And I was like, yeah, I don't wanna be a nudge. People ask me all the time. I was like, can I just come hang out and watch? But before I even get a chance to ask you that, you said, why don't you come to one of our classes, which I had no idea you taught. So it worked out perfectly. Win. One of the things I like about Jimmy too is a lot of the stuff he does for fun and for making, but some of the stuff he does is products. And we've been talking a lot about like product development and the process behind it. And when do you patent stuff? And when do you just like execute it and crush it? And it's funny because it's something we talk about in our chip break series on running a small business. Like a lot of times it's less about lawyers and more about just crushing it. Like, just do it. Just yeah. become the brand that it is. You know, like I, I'm fortunate enough to have a big audience. So I could make something, whether it's a switchblade or something like that. And I have evidence that it's been made. If somebody comes after me, I could say, hey, look, I put the video up two years ago. Where's your evidence that you came up with it before I put up the video? Yeah. And so I think that'll help me in, in a suit. 
Tweet. But just make anything, any brand, just make it popular and then it's yeah. hard for anybody to take it from you. What's the, uh, for the folks that aren't familiar with the Diversity channel, what's your pitch? Uh, it's my name, Jimmy Diresta. I make stuff out of all materials and all processes. So if you're interested in just kind of getting in the garage and just getting started, that's really what it is. I get a lot of guys, I say they watch my channel and they really get inspired to just get out there and make stuff. I don't talk, you just watch me make, it's kind of voyeuristic. It's like maker porn, that's what I like to call it. <laughs> It's funny though because uh, I was telling Jimmy I've gotten to know a lot of people on YouTube because I watch them so you feel like you know them but I didn't really know Jimmy because he doesn't a lot of his videos which are so well done are kind of fast forwarding and taking but it's cool because in a 20 or 10 minute video you see a full project through the night. Yeah, that's anyway, what I like transformation yeah. that's my whole thing. Yeah uh, just a fair warning there's a lot of woodworking so try not to let that discourage you or, or hold that against I'm you. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> awesome. Soon enough I got the tour my Thanks bro. Thanks for coming. It was awesome. It's great. Great experience.